it actually happened, guys. I got my fury. Oh, yeah. It is here. And I've got it back. And I'm very, very excited about it. But I'm also very nervous about it. I know everyone has a billion questions, so I'm going to do my best to answer them. But right now, I'm just going to dance because I'm very, very excited about this. Let's get into it. It is back. My period is back. The 23rd of September, 2020. Let's mark this day down in history as the date I got my period back. 2020 is all bad. I am bleeding from my vagina. Who knew? It's happened. And I'm going to try and answer all your questions that I know everyone has as best I can in this video. So we'll try and not make it go for half an hour because I could talk for ages on it. So let's start. First things first, a massive thank you to my friends and to my family who have been supporting me on this journey and have been really just my rocks in this whole process. It's a really challenging process to go through and I can't thank them enough. When I told them all that I got my period back, my dad cried, my mum cried, my sister cried. It was like a big deal. Well, now that we're all together, I can tell you my exciting news. I have my period. No oh, way! Really? Yes. Really? Oh, do you want the test? So exciting! So I, I know, I was laughing to myself. Oh, oh, that's so exciting. It is exciting. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Anne. Yeah, really it's really exciting. Give her a hug. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Anne. Yeah, it's really exciting. Exciting. Oh, I should be getting a hug and not my mom. Yeah, I am too. Everyone's crying. <laughs> Michael's very proud of me as well, and he's excited that maybe this means we can try for another baby at some point, but that wasn't the point of this journey. It was to heal me, but it is going to make things a lot easier when we do want to add to our little family in the future. So where do I begin? I want to start with how I'm feeling currently, and I have a lot of mixed emotions. First is a lot of relief and excitement that it's actually working and that my period is actually here. I keep running to the bathroom to check if it's here. It's still here. It's still here. It's very, very exciting. But also a lot of anxiety and nerves surrounding that too, because now that I've got my period back, I actually have to keep working at making sure it stays around. There's no going back to crazy exercise routines. There's no restricting my caloric intake anymore. So there's a lot of anxiety about moving forward and trying to keep my body on track now. You're not technically recovered from HA until you've had three consecutive cycles and this is just the beginning of my first cycle. So there's still a lot of work to be done. So there's a lot of different emotions that is going on at the moment. There was a lot of disbelief when I first saw it, but now we're just excited. I keep running to the bathroom to check if it's still there. It's still there, guys. So what did I do to actually get my period back? I was seeing an acupuncturist there for a while. I was taking Chinese tea. I was doing lots with essential oils. I was cutting back on my exercise and eating more. And everything I believe contributed to my personal journey. But overall, the biggest main factors were gaining weight, eating a lot of high fat foods and not moving my body, which pretty much is what they tell you to do from the beginning. But Firstly, it sounds so simple, but it's also the most challenging thing to actually come to terms with when you're someone who has constantly restricted your eating in certain ways. And you're also someone who's always identified as a fit person or someone who's got up early and moved their body and exercise. So if you're going through this process and you're trying to break away from that part of your identity, I empathize and you're doing the best you can. I know that it's really hard and it's still hard for me as well. I was half in for three months and then I was all in for five weeks. So all in, meaning that I was eating well above two and a half thousand calories. I reckon most days I was eating about 4,000 and also means doing no exercise. I was still doing some light intensity exercise up until the last week where I cut it all out completely and I was just walking about three to four kilometers per day. In the last five weeks, I'm pretty sure I've gained about 10 kilos. So I know I gained eight kilos in my last video. I haven't weighed myself again, but I know I've gained a little bit more. Obviously, this is what my body needs to heal and to recover. Mentally, I'm not happy about it. I'm going to do a whole nother video on weight gain acceptance, but 
we're getting there with that every day is a different day and feeling different about it all the time it's a really really hard thing to come to terms with especially in a society that is just ruled by diet culture and weight gain is viewed as something so negative so i'm going to be doing a lot of work up here as we move forward and hopefully i can share some insight on that to help anyone going through the same thing in some future videos as well I did all of this on a whole foods plant-based diet. There's a lot of speculation in the HA community that trying to get your period back can't be done while you're vegan or can't be done on a whole foods plant-based diet. Now, the reason why people say that is because you're still restricting in a way and you're holding on to a lot of food rules. I personally did a lot of internal work and I didn't turn whole foods plant-based to lose weight or turn to that as a form of disordered eating. I purely love it for so many different reasons from environmental ethical from a health perspective as well i think it is the best way for me to be eating so i stayed whole food plant-based while healing myself however i ate really really differently to what i was before so before i was like borderline fruitarian and lived off fruit and a lot of veggies and it was my life and i loved it but when i really let myself just listen to my body and what it wanted it was craving high caloric dense foods peanut butter I mean, I think that's the solution to everything. Just peanut butter by the jar, on everything, by the spoon, just dip your hand into it. Peanut butter is the answer. But on a serious note, nuts, peanut butter, other nut butters. I put maple syrup on everything, coconut yogurt, shredded coconut in everything and eating really regularly throughout the day. I had to really honor my mental hunger, not my physical hunger. Most people going through HA will find that their signals to determine their hunger is really, really distorted because we've spent so long ignoring those hunger cues. So mine were definitely out of whack and they still are. So most of the time when I eat, I'm eating because I'm thinking about food, which is a form of hunger and you need to honor that. If I just listened to when I was physically hungry, there's no way I would have gained the weight I did and therefore there's no way I would have got my period back. So I ate whenever I thought about food and I pretty much just ate oh, dates as well. Oh my goodness, dates and peanut butter are life. And that's how you get your period back. It's pretty simple. No, there is much more that goes into it, but you do need to be increasing your fat intake and getting fat onto your body. That is how the estrogen levels in your body are going to rise and are going to signal to your body that it's safe to get your period and that we're looking after ourselves and we're keeping ourselves healthy and well. Lots of people have already asked me if I noticed anything in the lead up up to my period. I know we're all really keen to get our period back, so we're looking for any signs and signals. For me personally, I had egg white cervical mucus in the lead up to my period, but I still wasn't sure if that was actual ovulation because I'd had a lot of follicular waves as well going on in the month before. But I didn't get any sore boobs or any period pain, but that's pretty in sync with how I used to get my period before I had HA. I never had a lot of um, PMT or PMS symptoms, so this is pretty normal for me not to experience anything too different. Um, my period is quite light at the moment, which is also pretty consistent with how it used to be as well. So I'm not too worried on that front either. It'll be interesting to see how it progresses when I get it again, because I'm going to get it again. The night before I got my period though, I was a complete and utter mess. Michael was just holding me all night as I just cried and cried and cried, trying to come to terms with this like changing body and everything that had been happening. And even though I'd been feeling really anxious about the whole process throughout the whole month I hadn't had that quite an emotional reaction to it and it felt like a really good release but I'm also now looking back thinking that that was tied into my hormones and getting my period the very next day so maybe we're going to look out for a lot of waterworks for me before I get my period again next time. The weight gain has been extremely difficult to come to terms with and accept and that's because in order to keep my period now I have to accept that there's also no going back to a smaller version of me or a thinner version and there's no more losing weight so if, if i genuinely want to keep my period i have to stay at this weight and maybe even get heavier before i kind of stabilize and reach a set point weight that my body's really healthy at and that's something that i have to come to terms with as well and a lot of people going through ha have to do it too so that has been the biggest part of this journey is accepting that but getting my period is the definitive proof that i needed to just prove to me and 
quiet those voices down that this weight gain is what I need to be healthy, this weight gain is what I need to be the better version of myself, regardless of what society says and regardless of the stories and the narrative that I've told myself for years and years and years. To be healthy, I need to gain weight and that is okay. I've also had someone ask me if I will now cut my calories back down or maybe just be a bit more mindful of what I'm eating and will I bring back exercise now that I've got my period. I mentioned earlier that in order to be properly recovered from HA, you need to have three consecutive cycles. And they really recommend that you do not do anything different than what you're doing now for at least three months before you start experimenting with perhaps eating a little bit less or reintroducing a little bit of exercise. So at least for the next three months, this is it. I'm probably going to gain some more weight. I'm probably going to feel really unfit and I'm probably going to feel like a giant loss of identity. But I know my body is healing and that's what I want to focus on. There will be no more exercise for me and I'll just be eating whatever it is I feel like eating whenever I think about eating and whenever I'm hungry. It sounds insane, but that's what I'm going to do. And that is going to ensure I get my next cycle back and the one after that and the one after that and the one after that. And hopefully somewhere in between all of them, maybe we have another baby and I don't get my period for an actually good reason. We'll see. After three months though, I will start to reintroduce some exercise because I love exercise, but just taking it really slowly and really trying to monitor what's having an impact on my cycle or not. I'm not going to be diving into running or diving into high intensity exercise because that's just going to land me back at square one and undo all the hard work that I've put in place to get where I am right now. In terms of food and eventually cutting down calories, the aim of the game is that my body starts to actually learn when it's hungry and what it needs to be eating and my hunger cues really reawaken themselves and I can learn to trust my body with when it needs to eat and what it needs to fuel itself correctly and to be healthy. So at the moment, I just have to honor my hunger cues, whether that's physical or mental hunger cues. And eventually I can just hopefully be gone with all the mental hunger. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm really trying to break away from this binge restrict cycle, which is what my entire life has kind of been based around and really focus on just healing my body and nourishing my body with good food and trying not to be driven by how I look and the size of my boobs, because right now they are, they're my trigger point. If anyone has a trigger point, mine are the size of my boobs and they're gigantic. So we're just trying to ignore them. I'm going to wear some like baggy clothes and just pretend it's not all happening for a while because I know that my body is healing and it's doing the right thing. So that's it. That is how I got my period back. Essentially, I just did what they told me to do, which was eat more and move less. But it is way more challenging than what it seems. And if you are going through HA, if you know someone going through HA, I just want to wrap you all up in a blanket of love and kindness and just make it happen for you. But you have to put the hard work in for yourself and you have to be prepared to gain weight. You have to be. There's no two ways about it. At the start, I wasn't. At the start, I just wanted to be, you know, the exception to the rule that would get their period back and say, hey, I didn't really gain anything. And I'm sure there are exceptions to the rule. But the majority of us, regardless of our starting weight, we're going to have to gain some weight. It's an indication that our body isn't functioning at the weight it is and it needs more rest and it needs more fuel. So try your best to listen to your body. If you're waiting for your period to come, I have all the faith that it will come for you. You have to trust the process and you have to trust that you're doing the best thing for your body now, no matter how hard it is. And if you're crying yourself to sleep tonight, know that I've been there and I'll be there again because it is really, really difficult. But I'm sending you all my love, all my strength, and you too can get your period back as well. So big love to every single one of you out there on this journey. And thank you to everyone else for tuning in as well and following along. I'll be doing more updates on this as we go along. So please hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to know any other questions. I will get back to you all individually. And yeah, have the most beautiful weekend. I've got my period back. 